Sweet Caroline, the 1969 hit by Neil Diamond, is still a hugely popular song, especially in group sing-alongs. Neil says that the song was inspired by his wife. But his wife at the time was named Marcia. So why is he singing to a woman named Caroline? Over the years, Neil finally revealed the reason for the name change. In this video, we will examine the real story behind Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. Songs I like time stamps through your journey in life. They can remind you of exactly where you were, what you were doing, and who you were with. The good times that you want to remember, and the bad ones you'd rather forget. But every song has its own unique story that inspired the songwriter and moved them to share their experience with us. In this video, we will follow the songwriters on their journey and discover the real story behind the song. The song, Sweet Caroline, has become an iconic hit for music legend Neil Diamond. It peaked at number 4 on the US Billboard Hot 100. It took him about 30 minutes to write, while in a hotel in Memphis back in 1969. The song was from his album, Brother Love's Traveling Salvation Show. It was also added to the UK version of his album called, Touching You, Touching Me. But the inspiration for the song had people scratching their heads for years. So let's consider the real story behind, Sweet Caroline. According to Diamond, his love songs were inspired by his wife Marcia Murphy. This time, he wanted to use his wife's name in the song. There was just one problem. He couldn't work her name into the melody. The name Marcia has only two syllables. The song needed a name with three syllables. For a brief moment, Neil was experiencing writer's block. But then, he recalled something from years earlier. It immediately solved his dilemma. He remembered a cute photo he had seen while looking through a copy of Life magazine. It was of a little girl on a pony. She was dressed in her riding gear. That girl was Caroline Kennedy, the daughter of then-President John F. Kennedy. Life magazine had done a cover story on Little Caroline for their September 7, 1962 issue. Diamond said, It was such an innocent, wonderful picture. I immediately felt there was a song there. That photo would create an image in his mind that he would never forget. He had even wrote the name Caroline in his notes for future reference. So while writing his song, he tried using the phrase Sweet Caroline. The three-syllable name fit the melody of his song perfectly. But this created another problem. The song was intended to be a dedication to his wife Marcia. But now he was using the name Caroline. Obviously he couldn't tell Marcia that he wrote a song about her called Sweet Caroline. So he kept that bit of information to himself. Since many popular songs use random names to fit the melody, no one probably bothered to ask who Caroline was. The song came out in 1969, when Caroline Kennedy was 11 years old. It wasn't until years later, in 2007, that Diamond decided to reveal how he came up with the title. He was invited to perform at Caroline Kennedy's 50th birthday party. Appearing via satellite, he chose the moment to reveal the true inspiration for the song. He and his wife Marcia had already divorced about 10 years earlier. Diamond wasn't sure how Caroline would react. After all, he was invited to sing at her birthday party. And he's about to tell her that the song he's going to sing was inspired by her childhood picture. But to his surprise, she was apparently flattered and happy when he told her. Let's face it, a legendary singer had named one of his biggest hits after her. No doubt the song probably took on a whole new meaning for her on that day. As for Diamond, he just wanted to thank her for the inspiration. The song was also a huge career boost for him. There have been radio personalities and articles claiming that the song was actually written about little Caroline Kennedy all along. And it had nothing to do with his wife. However, this is pure conjecture as the lyrics clearly describe an actual physical experience with someone already in his life, which would have been his then-wife Marcia. Of course, once he and Marcia divorced, he could have rededicated it to Caroline Kennedy, who was now a middle-aged woman. Regardless, the song, Sweet Caroline, has become very popular in group sing-alongs and sporting events.
And if you were singing to someone named Caroline, it was an obvious choice. In fact, that is exactly what happened at a Boston Red Sox home game in Fenway Park. The DJ at the stadium played Sweet Caroline as a dedication to her friend's baby, named Caroline. The crowd loved it so much, they all joined in. In 2002, the ballpark's front office decided to make it a regular thing during the seventh inning stretch. The song had become so inspirational that Diamond even came to Fenway Park after the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing to sing for the fans. Sweet Caroline seems to create such a festive mood among fans that other sports teams regularly play it as well. All this exposure continues to boost record sales decades later. Neil Diamond once said that Sweet Caroline may be the biggest, most important song of his career. Or, as he wrote in the song, Good times, never seemed so good. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and share the link with your friends. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for updates.